All the while I am escaping with E.T. Well done, guys. Awesome. Cheers, Duane. Eh? Well, welcome to the show. It's always nice to hold the big metery up at the opening of a show. And I'm up here with DNA Barrow. This is Duane. He's the, uh, the skipper extraordinaire. Put us onto this beautiful big fish. And I'm here also with my mate Chris. We're at the Mini Mini System. I haven't fished here before, but the uh, promises of a big fish were certainly told and uh, it's certainly delivered. Loads of action on the show. Check it out. We've got a ton of top end treats from javelin fish to trophy trevally. Such a nice fish, such an unusual fish. Down south, I get up close and personal with Aussie salmon. Oh, it just fits in. Perfect. And nice duskies. Really nice fish. Beautiful. Flathead are on the menu again with Chef Paul Brahini on the water and on the barbie. Lunchtime. Oh! Plus all the big action of my big barra. Oh. There aren't too many more exotic or exciting places to wake up than aboard a mothership in the middle of Arnhem Land's remote mini mini river system. And we're out early to make the most of it. DNA barra fishing owner Dwayne is taking Chris and me downstream to more of the amazing fishing we have all to ourselves out here. And the fish o jokes start early when Chris and Dwayne think I've hooked up to a catfish. 100 <laughs> percent I know. <laughs> I know what Amoka feels like. <laughs> These javelins, amazing, isn't it? It's the little bloke this time. Or Grunter. Oh, it stinks. Might be a javelin. Yeah. <laughs> one of our javelin mates. Javelin. Nice one? I think so. Got going off. That's why he's fighting hard. But no matter how light-hearted the banter, I'm serious about wearing my life jacket. A waistband tight because of the heat up here even this early. And playing safe doesn't interfere with my fishing mobility in any way, as I prove with my next hookup. Little queenie. Oh. oh, he's jumping all over the place. Where? Oh, Here go. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. The queen, he got it. Go that way. There. Just there. Can't see him. There's something long and slender. Oh, it's a queen. Is it just a queen? Yeah. Yeah, not a little bit. Fair yeah, looks or something. Must be. Top of the head. Yeah. Top of the head. Yeah. He's going the wrong way. Not where I want him to go. Oh, oh, ping me. Went in underneath the bushes. Yep. Yeah. Good one? Big. Oh, that's nice. That's big trevally, I think. Yeah, he's a beauty. See if you can get him in. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it's a bit golden. Yes. It's... There's some with him. Yeah, keep him still. Oh, keep him still. Keep him out of the bloody tree. Oh. There's somewhere. Missing the right. He's a beauty, that's what we're after. Another species. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, such a nice fish, such an unusual fish, aren't they? Nice. Woo! All right. Nice one. Nice. Well done. Nice He's fish. He's a beauty, mate. Sporty. Good stuff, Shaman. Hey. <laughs> fun. Yeah, He's a beauty. Well done, mate. <laughs> Well done. Hold him for Ali. Nice. Green one, Chris. Yeah. See, hold it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. One more. 
Come on, swim, boy. And back to the mothership in time for a civilised breakfast served by DNA's onboard chef. Squidgies have received a facelift with a new addition of the TNT colour to the slick rig range and is sure to be dynamite on Barra right through to Murray Cod. You can use a fast or slow retrieve over the weed beds to get that paddle tail wagging or you can simply drop the slick rig down in deep water and retrieve it up past schooling fish to get the bite. Also, Gary Glitter colour now features in the Wriggler range and will be ideal for Australian bass right through to Flathead in the estuary. A long way south of Arnhem Land, I'm still top ender fishing with my Mazda BT50 and Quinny top ender combination. Our TV chef Paul Brahini is joining me on my favourite inshore boat. But today we're not planning to stay anywhere inshore. We're heading out wide to the ocean. Well, it's a beautiful day. Off the south coast of Sydney, we're chasing sand flathead. And we're just drifting in about 40 metres of water at the moment. Got the Patnoster rig down, so the sinker on the bottom and the little dropper loop with a piece of uh, fish flesh as bait. There's not many people I know that don't love flooded, you know? Absolutely beautiful fish. So between the chef and the fisho, who'll hook up first? Oh, I love these grappler rods. They're fantastic. This little Saragossa, perfect for this sort of stuff. That Gamakatsu hook's nice and sharp, but you've got to keep it in there. Here we go. Yeah, good yeah. size. Awesome, okay. mate. Well done. All right, they're loving, loving that fresh, fresh bait. That's fisho one, chef nil. But of course, that can all change with just one hookup. I don't think he's real big. Oh, no. Dropped him. Dropped him? Yeah. Sorry, Paul, but that didn't change a thing. Oh, it's oh, a nice fish. That's, oh. that's a better fish. Yeah. He's really trying to get down to the bottom, back no. to his sandy bed. Yeah. <laughs> now, we want him on the dinner table. There he is, though. Oh, he's yeah. not looking too bad. Yeah, a bit wrapped up in the line. Oh, Hold on. That is uh, definitely legal fish. Yeah, good size, great size. And as we only needed a couple of fish for the barbie, that's game over. We went out chasing flathead, sand yeah. flathead, and um, we got a few. Yep. How'd you we go? Did. Well, I didn't go too good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, did get one to the boat and it fell off. Oh, did we get it on camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, we managed a few, which was good, yeah. and these are a couple of nice fillets. What are you going to do, mate? So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to show you how to skin it really easily. Okay. So you just get a little bit of salt in your fingers. Yep. So take your time up to this stage till we get to the tail, and the tails are what we need today. So we just take it like so. And once we get to the tail, it's just a matter of just ripping the skin off. And away you go. Wow, that's quicker than how I do it with my knife. Yeah. I guess you've got to have salt in your uh, tackle box back there. Yeah, you could, well, you've got to carry the Creole salt all the time. Oh, <laughs> well, that's right. I uh, carry it everywhere I go now. So what I'm going to do today is just wrap the tails um, in some pancetta. We're just going to roll it up. It's going to crisp up. And also, it's got a nice salty flavour. It goes really, really well with it. I'm going to put that with a green olive dressing. So we're going to throw some uh, lemon juice in there, some chilli, garlic, and we're going to serve that on our quinoa. And this is from Sanders as well. It's uh, with an eggplant caponata, which is like a sauce that we're just going to toss through. OK, so it's great when you're outdoors like this. Let's get cracking, eh? Yeah, let's do it. So basically, Andrew, what I'm going to do now is roll up um, our flooded fillets, take a little bit of our fresh basil, um, just for a nice bit of colour, and um, just looks really, really nice. It's also going to give our basil a nice little infusion. I'm not going to season the fish because there's plenty of seasoning inside our pancetta. A lot of people like to use prosciutto, but when I'm crisping it up, I'm, I much prefer pancetta. And it'll go really, really well with our fish. So it's a bit of a Mediterranean-style dish. And we're just making a, a nice little green olive sauce to go with this. We just need a little bit of salt in with our olives, garlic, and chilli. And we're just going to pound this together. There we go. Not only can I not oh, catch... Oh, yeah. Gosh. Huh? Can't catch flathead. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. Don't you well, worry. Well, do Don't you well. worry. It's I know how good it tastes. Oh, good. Everything you've ever cooked me <laughs> has been amazing. What we've got to do now is add a little bit of acid in there. And what we've got is some white balsamic vinegar. OK. Similar to the, the normal red balsamic vinegar. OK, so just a drizzle of that in there. And some torn basil leaves here. 
And we're very lucky to have your local green grocer as a sponsor this year. They've provided so much fresh produce. Yeah. Just amazing. Oh, great, mate. You've got to get out there and support your local green grocers. They're, they're just great. Next thing we need to do is our quinoa. So straight in, and um, then we're just going to mix our caponata sauce in here. Again, heaps and heaps of Mediterranean flavours. So I'll just fold that in, just let all them flavours infuse. And then we're just going to throw the fish on the barbecue and plate up. They're looking good, mate. You're going to enjoy it, mate. Well, you caught them, because <laughs> I couldn't catch them. <laughs> so we're going to plate up. All we do now is uh, a little bit of quinoa. I know you're hungry, Andrew. I shouldn't be hungry, should I? I've caught nothing. And a lemon cheek. The guys from the barbecue and fireplace centre on the Sunshine Coast have provided this butte barbie. And just by chance, it's almost lunchtime. So I'm just putting a little bit of salsa on. So you've got all them ingredients on top of there as well, which is going to be so nice. Well what done, do you think? mate. Looks Absolutely okay. fabulous. Cool. And right on the dinner bell, mate. <laughs> lunchtime. Read the recipe on our website. Well, today I'm here with Michael from Gamakatsu. Mate, I love my whiting fishing. Three fantastic Gamakatsu whiting hooks here. Mate, uh, one of my favourite species too. So we've got the worm hook, the traditional long shank, and the shiner hook, which is the King George whiting specialty hook down there. We've got the long shank and the worm hook. The worm hook's sort of new to the market. It is. It's different to the traditional long shank profile. So long shank typically has a longer, a narrower gape, you'd say, the difference yep. between the tip and the shank. Yep. And it's slightly longer in the shank, whereas the worm hook has a similar profiles but it has a keeper on to keep that worm on that hook. Makes it a fantastic hook for surf fishing or anywhere where there's a little bit rougher water. There you go, three great Gamakatsu hooks for whiting. Escaping with the tea. The delicious breakfast on the DNA Barra Fishing Mothership, darn and dusted. We're heading out with Dwayne again with our sights set on a big Arnhem Land Barra Mundi. But my first hookup and our first stop along the maze of fishing spots they call the Mini Mini is neither big nor a barra. Javelin fish. With the territory sun blazing up fast, I'm glad of the protection from my polarised tonic sunglasses and how they help me to see what I hook up to next. But it's still not what I'm after. So we head off further downstream on the hunt for a trophy barra. And we've got Dwayne's local knowledge with us all the way. Is that just a creek? Yeah, well, it's a big Magella. You go out to the mouth where all the big girls are. And it's getting heaps of threaty. Ooh, there is nice. fish. Little baby one. You yeah, can get meat fish out of here. The babies are hard ones to get out of. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're closer to the target with every move we make. It's a barra. <laughs> and as always, I'm wearing a life jacket. Today, a waistband tight because of the top end heat. All right. Well done, Andrew. Nice one. First bar of the day. Little vibe. Just with uh, one gamma katsu. So I'd only put the one on just simply so that I wouldn't get snagged up too much because there's tons of timber down underneath. There we have a nice little barra. We did see a big one come through, didn't we, Dwayne? Over on, on the sound that we were hoping... It was a lot bigger than that one, that's for sure. There's some big ones down there. It's got 55 pound uh, trace on here, so nice and abrasive because they've got pretty tough gill rakers on each side, so it gives it that little bit more protection. And now for our last big move to a place the big predators love. It's coming up. We follow it up, so when you get that close here, just be careful. Stay here for a little bit and try and look for that bigger fish. Yeah. It's a barra. Yeah. Beautiful man. Nice fish though. Going crazy, this one. <laughs> wow. Pretty active, aren't they? real active, that one. Wow. Very cranky. Oh, don't we love catching them? Right up. Yes, I know you want to go. There you go. We're right on the line between the brown and the blue, where the biggest barra often lurk. Got him, got him, get him. Oh, salmon, is it? The barra? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at him go. He's not hooked real safe. <laughs> They're sharp hooks, but... Woohoo! Oh, ho, oh, oh, hole in the net. Straight through. <laughs> You're drenched. <laughs> Bit of a gutter. Really careful holding these ones up. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Good stuff. Another one. Right on the colour there. Yeah. Good 
stuff. See you, mate. This is the abs absolute perfect ambush spot for a, for a big predator. The tide's pushing in, and dwayne has got us here just in time. Perfect time for the next couple of hours to be right here, trying to catch that big fish. Oh, oh. That is a horse. Oof. That's a good fish on that tiny little bait. Yes. Here he comes. Oh! That is a big fish. You got that net ready? Yeah. Just in case, mate, you ready? She might know what she's doing here. Oh, here she comes. Oh. I really want to be on that side here. Watch out. Out. Move. She's coming back. Come on, come on. Oh. Woohoo! Yeah, brother. That's a good one, mate. That's a good one. Oh, that's well a done. good one. Well done. Woo! Well done. Oh, yeah, nice Let's one. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well done, buddy. All right. Good, on <laughs> well Good one, eh? Good on you, bud. Thanks, Chris. Go on, he's just engulfed that down. Are you using heavier leader? If you don't use the heavy leader, would it cut through anything smaller than this? This is 55 pound. Look at that, just straight out. And just a little vibe. Too. <laughs> a little 20 grammer. 106.5. <laughs> yeah. Is that a close up now? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the only thing better than catching a big girl like this is seeing her swim off. So we'll put her back in. Oh, oh give her a bit of a drink. Come here, girl. She's going to need a bit of a drink. Whoosh. <laughs> Whew. All right, that's good. Where else would you go after a fish like that? With the tide on the turn, we all agree to call it a day and head back to the cool drinks waiting for us on board our DNA Barra fishing mothership. We're all back to the liverboard at the end of the day. It's been a cracker of a day. A 106 Barra, exactly what I was after, one of those big fish. And we've still got two more days to go, so there's plenty more action to come. That's coming up for you next year in the next big series of Escape Fishing with ET. For now, we'll just enjoy the top end hospitality of the DNA Barra fishing crew. What I'm using here is a bomber lure, bomber 16A, three hooks. That's perfect for this, this style of fishing because the barramundi are looking up and as this is like a wounded bait fish as we're flicking it and working it along at a nice slow pace, the barrel will come charging up and grab hold. Oh! Well, what a beautiful day. I'm on Lake Macquarie, just south of Newcastle, and this is the biggest saltwater lake in the southern hemisphere. And of course, with a massive lake, comes loads of fish. Right at the moment, I've got the uh, Garmin working, the Echo Map 75 SV. Now, this is fantastic. I've got it on triple play at the moment, pointing out a ton of bait fish. Hopefully, one of those predators will mistake my little vibe for a butte bait fish going right in front of him. And that's what it's all about. If you drop the lure nice and low, you're going to pick up some good flathead. And there he is. Really nice fish. Beautiful. <laughs> all right. He's ready to go. See you, buddy. Thanks for that. Well, I'm just using a very light rig. This is a Shimano Bushy with a uh, sustain 3000. And these Hobies are so well set up. Plenty of room, be a really relaxing seat. Got a big locker up the front. If I need to put anything in that. Perfect tackle box right here underneath my feet. And a comfy chair. And of course, a Mirage Drive. This is the power plant. Here we go, something a bit different, something a bit heavier. Could even be a salmon. But he's certainly putting up a good fight. Oh, there's the boil right there. Nice fish. Nice fish. This is what you want. Chasing the tailor. 
Then all of a sudden, these really big boils came along. Here we go. What have we got? Big salmon. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, he's not bad at all. He's just got that bomber right in the corner of his mouth. They often jump the salmon, but uh, this guy's just done some really big boils on top of the water. Come on, mate. I think he's worthy of the net, this bloke. There you go. Oh, it just fits in. There we go, a nice big salmon. There we go. Oh, you can see that bomber right up, right up in the top of him. Let's have a look. Oh, not a bad salmon. Not too bad at all, eh? Perfect. A real brute. Oh, we'll put him back in, eh? And I'll see you somewhere on the water again next week.